Texans win an amazing night. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, shoot, there's a whole lot of thoughts, I guess, going in my head, so it's hard to sum it up in a couple words, but I would just say it was one of, if not the most exciting night of my life. I mean, you can't even imagine games like that, and just to be a part of it and to be a part of this team and a part of the city is just, I can't even put it into words, but I'm, I'm just proud to be here. I'm proud of the whole team tonight. I'm proud of every single guy in that locker room, and um, like I said, what an amazing night. Thank you. Uh, Coach Hunter, great. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you just about that, that slight you know, scenario where you could have took it wide uh, as, a, as a striker. What goes through your head? Is there a clock that goes, that goes off? I mean, were you, were you itching to, to finally score? Because it, it seemed that you were right there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially looking at, like you're saying, maybe even get, you know getting that first of the season and really just you're anxious to score. It's like, hey, I mean, if I get a chance, you're thinking probably I'm just going to take it and hit it. But uh, in that situation, ball just maybe got caught a little bit under my feet. So I think I would have maybe forced a shot if I would have tried to hit it right off the bat. So keeper bit right away, defender bit. So with that, took my touch out wide, stayed calm. If I would have hit it across the goal, you know, guys are tracking back, maybe a goal line clearance. So... Stay calm, stay composed. I think that's the best thing that you could teach a striker. It's just to stay calm and composed so that when you see the slot and when you see the right opportunity, you'll know. And it's basically instinct at that point because you've worked on it so much in the training ground in other games. I mean, up to this point, it should be instinct. So, start off in the second half, you guys put up great on the penalty. What was the mood on the bench and then when you got slumped in on the pitch with that momentum? Yeah, um, I mean, the, the benefit of obviously me coming in was that, you know, like you said, we started off very strong in the, in the second half. I mean, if, we were to, if I were to come in at 2-0, that's a completely different game. You know, 2-0 with 15, you know, 20 minutes left. I mean, that's, that's a whole other story. Um, but the team came out freaking fighting. I mean, literally everyone in the locker room, you could tell there was just a united resolve. Um, and, you know, coming into a group like that, it's, it's really, it's, it's not that, it's not that hard because, I mean, you've got guys that are fighting behind you. You've got guys that are pushing you and encouraging you. And, I mean, that's what I've been saying about this locker room is that these guys are literally team above, you know, team above individual every single day of the week. So um, me coming in, all I had to do was just feed off that energy. It's an, it's an easy job for me. I mean, I wanted to do that work. I wanted to do everything because because of the guys that are behind me. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious about the fact that, you know, when a striker like you playing in the league for many years, scored the ball, playing – it's a celebration. But how different it is to celebrate a goal when you play just a few minutes and goal is such an important goal tonight? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the biggest proponent of whatever you as an individual can do for the team, um, that's what you have to do. So, you know, I've come to this into this team this year. You know, like I said, this is my seventh year as a professional player and my mentality my mentality every day every game is that no matter what the role is that I'm playing I have to be at my best to be able to help the team if I'm going to come in and play five minutes you know two minutes 15 minutes 90 minutes it doesn't matter I just have to do whatever the team needs so today the team needed to go forward and to score goals so my whole mentality today was what can I do to help my team score goal either scoring it myself or creating and uh and allowing my teammates to score goals too so yeah, like I said, it, it could be any role for me. I'll just be prepared and, and ready to do what I need uh, to help the team win. We'll go uh, to Dean Sullivan on the Zoom call. Hey, Ethan, it seemed like especially um, when you guys were, were chasing the equalizer and then even at, at the beginning of extra time when you guys um, were looking for the winner, that you guys were able to get behind the back line quite a bit and other than your goal, obviously, weren't able to find that, that kind of final moment. What were you seeing that was allowing um, the ball over the top to connect as often as it did? And then um, how relieving was it to, to be the one to get the one that goes in? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I think it was a culmination of everything. So it was nice to be able to come on with CJ, too, because, I mean, CJ is such a, you know, he's such a big target. He's always trying to win balls, and when he's not winning balls, he's a guy who's getting in behind. So he's basically the dual threat to me. So, and you've got guys who are feeding balls into us, like Hani. You know, Handwala came in and did a great job today, and so many other guys that are able. You know, Dan Lovett, Dex. You know, I mean, I can go on and on. These guys are finding us balls. So, you know, with me and CJ, you know, working together up top, I mean, 
it was just a good spark, and I think it was a good duo that came in off the bench to bring in energy, and it was a good, I think, chemistry that came on and was and allowed us to really, you know, exploit the space and win balls in the air. Um, so I think it was just a good, you know, a good moment to bring on two guys, or sorry, multiple guys, because Hanwala came in and did a great job as well. Um, and I think it all clicked at the right time. And they were obviously tired. It's not easy playing in this arena, you know. I mean, it's it's hot. The fans are incredible. I mean, and when you're in an environment like that, you need a little spark. So we were able to come on and produce that.